Right, so this is Grok Labs, and I'm really excited about this because I've just come across this. And you can draw the way you want your app to look, or you can describe it, which we're used to now, because there's so many apps that do that, or you can give it a voice note. So I'm going to do something a bit different. I already have a game that I was making with my son earlier, completely co-generated. Um, but it's pretty cool because I was doing just this. So uh, this is called Santa's Gift Rush. And this is Make Code Arcade. I'm not going to do a whole explanation on this. But the game is, this is it, it's working. Uh, you just drop gifts into the chimney and uh, avoid the Grinches, which are those green things. So what I'm going to do, let me, how can I stop this? I'm going to try and draw this and tell it to make it. So this is made with Python. Uh, and this is just a very, very simple thing. This is for children to learn how to code games and stuff. So I'm going to try and draw that and explain to it what I want it to do. So uh, this would be better if you have some a drawing pen attached to your computer or you're using your iPad, but I'm going to make these the chimneys. They need to um, color them in, but we're just going to do it. So these are the chimneys. I'm going to try and space them out a bit. And this is Santa. Let's give him a hat. It's very hard to draw with a mouse, so don't judge my skills. We've given him a hat. Uh, let's give him a smile and oh, one eye and a beard. You, 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 you. That's a beard. And he's like, there's a hand and he's just like throwing presents into the chimney. So that's a present. Clearly, we got a bow on it. Perfect. So there's Santa. He's throwing presents into the chimney. And then we've got the Grinches. They've got evil faces, they look like aliens, and they're unhappy, and we have to avoid them. All right, so that is pretty much the same thing that's going on here. So we need the time at the top, so I'm going to try and draw that. Time bar, dot, dot, dot. That's a minute. We need the hearts and the points so let's put that there we got let's just do minus 40 all right and then we've got the lives that's one heart and two hearts right so this is our game so we're gonna click done uh that's stored somewhere we don't know <gasps> where's it gone i hope that doesn't go away i really hope it's still there that would be a horrible glitch. I didn't press clear, but let's see. Um, allow. I am making a game where Santa can drop presents into the chimneys and score points, and he has to avoid the Grinches. And the Grinches come, there's loads of different Grinches, they come, and if you have contact with the Grinch, you lose points. If you drop the presents into the chimney, you earn points and then you have to drop as many presents in as many chimneys as you can before the time runs out. I think that's it. So, so it's taken my, it's taken my, my voice note, but it didn't take my, that was very quick. That was like a second of, of work. But it didn't take my um my my drawing. That's that's quite upsetting. It just ignored my drawing. Um how was this the prompt? That's crazy how quick that was. Generate a single HTML file. Like, that's crazy. It doesn't it doesn't I don't think it works. Oh wait, what? What on earth? Maybe it did take my drawing. I don't know what this is. This game doesn't work. Um, okay. Okay, let's try and fix this. <laughs> game over? <laughs> okay, okay, this is bad. Um, but I, the, that, I'm just surprised at how quick that was. Okay, so the game doesn't work. 
you've got the right concept. We don't need to count the number of Grinches. The Grinches just need to show up on the screen. The chimneys should be moving across the screen at the bottom and Santa should be able to, you should be able to click to drop the presents. This is crazy how quick it is. I don't think it's gonna succeed in, in, in building what I'm trying to build, but this is just crazy how quick it is. Do I have to press start? Wow, so it's trying to do the, the chimneys. Oh wait, so it can, oh, the presents are dropping. Oh, but what are those red things? It froze or was it game over? I can't believe it's actually doing it though. Um, the time, the time trial should be two minutes and the Grinches should be green moving across the screen. Stop. Whoa, where's Santa? Oh, oh. Jeez. I mean, are we? Oh, okay, so when it got in the chimney, it was game over. Okay, it doesn't understand the concept, but that was insanely quick. I'm gonna go back and try and get it to do something less complex because I'm trying to get it to build a Python game in, it looks like HTML and no bueno. So let me just start again. Okay, let me try and draw. But people have built things. It looks like people have built things like this. Someone's built a chess game. I guess that's different, but uh, I, I, I've got something more simple. Let's uh, draw a game. Let's do a, is it called a Pomodoro timer? Um, I, I, yeah, let's just try, let's see. I think AI will know, even if I don't know the correct name, AI will know. And we want to have a play button. Whew, that's a sharp play button. And a stop. We could have had a pause as well. Pomodoro timer, I think it's called. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it took into account my drawing. I feel like it's not really, it's not really receiving these drawings, but that's, that's what that is. Uh, let's see if it works. So, so set alarm, stop it. Okay, no. So I don't know what these are for. Okay. The buttons do not work. So, so. Oh, and now it works. All right, so start. Wow. How can it? How can it be so fast? How is it? How is it so fast? That's crazy. Can we add some color and make it more visually appealing? No. What on earth? How is it so fast? I don't know what the limitations of this thing are because I'm seeing HTML. I'm seeing JavaScript. Um, stop. So what are these arrows for? Okay, different timers. Wow. Wait, no. Oh, for setting the minutes. That's 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 really cool. Um, I don't know what to tell it to add. Oh, a log. Let's see. Add a log for intervals. taking a bit longer with this one let's see interval log let's see start stop wow wait 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 interval ended at zero 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 that's not quite true let's see let it go for a bit longer okay that's not working let's see fix the interval log so it has the correct amount of time elapsed I think let's see start stop yes oh my goodness that's really cool um so that's that built that onto the next right so 
this code, this is this is done and dusted. We can take this. I'm actually gonna let me see something. Let, let me let's just see something. Let's just see HTML snippet. Let's put that in there. Is it gonna work? We'll see. I don't think it is gonna work. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Let me see if the interval of... Oh my, wow, wow, wow. That's insane. That is actually insane. It's not got the gradient background and everything, but that works. I just, in seconds, and iterated with voice i didn't i've not even typed a prompt that's crazy um so this again this is this was just a quick test this is called grok labs at gen dot grok labs.com and i found this this is the developer i think rick lamers check him out i'm gonna give him a follow am i logged in give him a follow um <clears throat> And he is the uh, AI, AI research and engineering person at Grok Inc. And this is what they've just released. So um, pretty exciting times, pretty exciting times. I made a video the other day about um, creating your own tools that you can add to your site. And this is just, this is, this is so much quicker. The other tools were React. These are HTML and JavaScript. That means you can just, as I just done, paste it in the HTML snippet in your WordPress site and any other site. You don't need to add the CSS uh, or the uh, script separately into, although I like to, but you don't need to. You saw, I just added it all in the snippet. It all works perfectly. That's just insane. I'm just, I'm a really, I'm really surprised by that. I'm gonna do one more. Let's see if I can. I really wanted it to, to do this thing for me. So what I'm gonna try and do is not, I'm not gonna give it a voice. I'm not gonna give it a voice. Um, I'm just gonna draw this and see. This is perfect, obviously. This is that. I'm just gonna do this and see what it does. The, to be fair, I don't, I'm not sure what the big pool is to be able to draw, especially if you're, if you only have your computer, if you can only do it <laughs> like this and you're not doing you're not sketching it with a pen, an Apple pencil or something. Let's see. It did, okay, so it does work. All right, so it does work. That's really cool, that's really cool. I'm gonna play around with this some more, but I'm gonna end the video here. Again, Grok Labs, Grok Labs, it's really hard to say. Groklabs.com, appgen.groklabs.com. That is a tongue twister.